Hi, we're glad you decided to participate in the Innovative Youth Corn Challenge. You went through the growing season, got your plant plotted, and now it's ready for harvest. This short video is designed to share with you some of the expectations for what's required in handing in your harvest report. First of all, all of these resources can be found at the cropwatch.unl.edu slash youth webpage. There's three main components that need to be completed. The harvest report form, which is available in PDF. The second component is the production records. This is available as an Excel spreadsheet, so it'll calculate the numbers for you. The third component to your harvest report is a brief explanation. This should summarize simply why or why your project did or did not work. It should explain how it was innovative. And this can simply be done in a couple of paragraphs as a Word document or handwrite it and complete it with your report. This information is found at the bottom of the CropWatch Youth webpage. So specifically, the harvest report form is available to complete as a fillable PDF or you can print it off and complete it by hand. Remember that the more details you have available, the easier it is for you to paint a picture of what exactly happened and easier for the judges to evaluate. In this form, it's just a reminder of the hybrid that was planted, your planting population, if you were irrigated or dry land, and some of the other pertinent information that the judges consider when they go through and evaluate your project. The second page to the harvest report form is simply the production practices that were implemented. Be sure to specify which practices were implemented for the corn challenge plot and which ones for your check plot. Try to do the best that you can because this helps the judges get a clear picture of what occurred. If you do not have all of these records, just do the best you can and don't be afraid to hand it in if you don't have some of those pieces of information. Figuring out the cost of production is very important for all agricultural entities. Does it actually pencil out for the corn challenge plot compared to the check plot? Use your figures wherever possible and do the best you can to get a true reflection if the cost of production paid off or not. However, if you do not have that information available, the UNL crop budget spreadsheet has information and some estimates that you can use to simply plug into this. This is an Excel spreadsheet, so put in as much information as possible and the spreadsheet will automatically calculate it for you. Again, this is a very important part to figure the cost. We sure hope you learned a lot from doing the Innovative Youth Corn Challenge. Part of learning is getting out in the field and observing any types of insect, pests, or disease issues that might have occurred. By completing some of the crop scouting observation sheets, hopefully you were able to learn a little bit more about some of the pests out there. Do your best to complete some of these sheets. If you didn't do any of the crop scouting throughout the growing season, don't worry about it. Still hand in your entire report. However, there are some bonus points and it does help the judges get a better understanding of the learning that did occur and again any challenges you may or may not have occurred. Also include any types of pictures that show you actually out there doing the project. And finally the last thing we need to know is figuring out the yields. So there are several different ways that this can be done. First of all on the report forms, we've provided the formula and some information for you to calculate those yields so we can verify the correct amount from your challenge to your check plots. If you have other methods such as using scale tickets which help determine that, if you have yield monitor data, you can use that as well. Sometimes various agronomists have their own forms, which is an example shown here. Feel free to use that. The biggest thing is so that we know how you derived at your yield and that it is accurate in order to be considered in the calculations. Once you have your report and information done, it needs to be sent by November 30th or 30 days after the plot has been harvested. You can send that electronically to my email address as listed 
or you can send a hard copy to the Fillmore County Extension Office. We sincerely appreciate all the work that you and your advisors have done to complete the Innovative Youth Corn Challenge. Finally, we'd like you to plan on attending the banquet. We're still in the process of getting the date finalized, but this is an excellent way for you and your advisor to receive the recognition that you deserve for going through a growing season and hopefully learning more about agronomy and careers related. And we hope that you also had a lot of fun. Thanks again for participating in the Innovative Youth Corn Challenge. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Erin, Amy, or myself. Thank you so much. The Innovative Youth Corn Challenge is sponsored by the Nebraska Corn Board in cooperation with the University of Nebraska Extension. We certainly hope you'll join us next year for another Innovative Youth Corn Challenge.